Now, at the end of the last ice age, parts of an enormous ice sheet covering Eurasia retreated to a startling 2,000 feet per day, more than the length of the Empire State Building. This is according to a recent study that upends what scientists previously thought were the upper speed limits for ice sheet retreat. The finding that may shed light on how quickly ice in Greenland and Antarctica could melt and rise global and raise global sea levels in today's warming world. Scientists said that the finding based on seafloor sediment formations from the last ice age was a warning from the past. They said that the discovery shows that some ice sheets in Antarctica, including the Doomsday Thwaites Glacier, could suffer periods of rapid collapse in the near future, further accelerating the rise of sea levels. The rising oceans are among the greatest long-term impacts of global heating because hundreds of major cities around the world are on coastlines and are increasingly vulnerable to storm surges and flooding. The West Antarctic ice sheet may already have passed the point at which major losses are unstoppable, which could lead eventually to several inches of sea level rise. They found melting speeds of between 50 meters a day to, us, uh, to 600 meters a day. That is up 20 times faster than the speediest retreat recorded previously by satellites. Previous Previously, the Pope Glacier in West Antarctica had been recorded as receding up to 30 meters a day. An expert from the post Institute of Climate Impact Research in Germany said that faster retreat rates than presently observed are possible under specific circumstances. The implications of such rapid retreats are serious given the irreversible nature of ice sheet uh, retreat. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.